Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Over the past couple of days I've been making some purchases and thought I would start sharing them with you. Today's unboxing and product review is something I bought actually just a few hours ago at the suggestion and with the encouragement of my beautiful and amazing wife. They're a pair of men's Arizona Birkenstock shoes and um I used to wear these in college. Actually, most everybody I went to college with wore these at the time. And, and having gone to school in the Northeast, um, in the cooler weather, we would actually wear these with white socks. Um, looking back, probably not the, the best fashion decision I have made, but certainly not the worst because, you know, the 80s were just um, an interesting time for clothing. Anyway, um, the Birkenstock box is is pretty basic. It's just cardboard and it's uh it's blue and you know nothing really crazy. Um, they run very true to size, or at least I found that they did. Um, these are the Arizona BS in dust gray taupe. Um, it's worth mentioning that they are a vegan product, so uh, nothing on these shoes was made from any animal. Uh, products for those that that's important to it's worth noting um, they the uppers are made of synthetic but they're amazingly high quality and it feels like new buck and when I had these years ago I believe that's what they actually were and um, you can kind of tell the difference but not I can kind of tell the difference but I'm very particular but overall I'm I'm very excited about these and um, I think they're a great product so um so let me let me just show you what they are. Okay. Whoops. So these are the Birkenstock Arizona BS in taupe. And the the footbed is made of like a microfiber material. This is what the upper is, and the, it's synthetic. Years ago, like I said, I believe it was Nubuck or um not quite suede, but you can see the underneath is not leather, it's actually a cloth based. And years ago, I, I can remember they wore leather, but that's okay. Um, the hardware, uh, anyone who watches any of my videos know knows I'm not a fan of any kind of yellow gold hardware. Uh, and Birkenstocks, a lot of them have brass hardware. Uh, this is a, a distressed, kind of weathered looking uh, silver hardware with Birkenstock stamped and, and blackened, kind of like, um, like a school ring. Uh, the ring you get when you graduate high school, kind of like that. And they're really cool because they're kind of rustic looking um, out of the box in spite of the fact of being new. Now, one thing that a lot of people love about Birkenstocks, and I'm among those people, is the sole. Um, a really durable, really, really great sole. Um, once you break Birkenstocks in, they are super comfortable. But for me personally, it does take a minute. And the reason being is because of the arch. It's kind of hard to see, but the arch in, in Birkenstocks, I find to be very, very high. And I don't have a particularly high arch. I'm not flat footed, but I don't have a high arch. And just trying them on, I immediately feel a pain in the part of my foot that would rest like right here. And you can tell, but because they have a cork midsole, it compresses to a certain extent and the 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 inner the insole will actually mold to the wearer's foot over time uh the toe grip is something that it, again birkenstock is known for and is something that again will mold to a certain extent to the shape of your foot um once you bur break in birkenstocks you really never want to take them off um uh, my wife was uh, a little concerned uh, i guess when i first pointed these out because in the summertime, I really wear my Givenchy slides a lot for casual, just because they're so comfortable. But after a few years, they are starting to show a little sign of wear. It might be time for a new pair soon. Um, but I wanted something that I could wear um, that was more on like the tan, taupey, neutral color as opposed to black. And that's what these were. Um, little hanging tag, uh, just basically Birkenstocks. Gives you just some information, right? Uh, about them. It's not even in English, <laughs> but on the other side, you know, tells you what's up, what they're made of. If you guys want to pause and read this, you're kind of welcome to, um, but it's it's nothing really over the top. And then it, the, the vegan tag, so that people know that these are a vegan product. Again, if that's important to you, that's great. If not, you know, not to each their own people. 
people should be able to do as they please when it comes to stuff like that. That's not the reason why I bought them. Uh, I bought them because of the nostalgia and because I've wanted a pair for a while now. And uh, saw them as we were walking through a department store, and that was it. I believe they were $110. And again, while Birkenstocks are not a lifelong product, it's not uncommon, at least for me, to have a pair for you know five, six, seven years, have you know wearing them regularly, and. In the past, they just got better with age. So I'm really interested in seeing how the new products that are not made of leather that are, um, you know, the synthetic material, seeing how it wears over time. I have to tell you, to the touch, it feels like suede. Um, if you get real deep down close to it, I don't know if my camera's going to do this, you can see it actually has a texture. Um that imitates suede. So I'm really curious as to how these are going to wear over time, whether or not they'll wear as well or better, or maybe not as well, as the ones I used to have. But I'm really excited about them. And I know it's not a luxury product, but for me, it's really a, a product with a lot of memories and a lot of nostalgia. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your comments and uh, thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if not, please keep in mind, like I always say, I don't do this professionally. There's no sponsors on my videos or anything like that. I do this just for fun and to share uh, my purchases with people who might be interested in, in watching a video like this. So please keep the comments on the positive side um, and uh, look for more videos coming up within the next week or so on some of the other products that I've purchased. Uh, thanks so much to all my subscribers. Can't believe how many of you there are now. And I know for a lot of YouTubers, the number of subscribers I have is really nothing. But for me, it's great and I'm thrilled. So if you like this video, please check out some of my other ones. And if you like those, hit the subscribe button. Um, thanks so much. I'll see you all soon.